Hey, Steve with Trimble and the Building Point teams. Uh, today on this field link tips, we're going to show you how to line a PDF to um, state plane coordinates or really any coordinates that you have um, if you want to align it that way. So in this case, I'm on uh, my desktop field link office. I'm going to, I can do this in the tablet as well too, but because I'm going to align it to a state plane coordinate system, I'm actually just going to hit the select coordinate system um, and then scroll down to the US state plane 83. And then this project we're working in is in the Colorado Central. Um, <clears throat> so with that, you can see I have a blank project. Uh, the PDF I want to bring in is actually right here. So I'm going to bring this over. So here, the reason why I like to actually look at this before is to get the scale dimensions here. And then um, also look at the uh, points and, um, sorry, the coordinates if I, if I have that. As you can see here, um, you can see I northern these and eastings for the uh, exterior of the building as well as these grid points here. So what I'll do is uh, while looking at that, I will plug in those coordinates. So this first one is, and I'll show this to you right here, um, 1205901. And then I'm just going to plug that in. One eight, and then my Eastings are three one zero eight seven seven five dot four six. I'll put my uh, Z elevation because typically uh, that'll also be there. I know this is in Colorado, so I'll put it at a mile high, and we'll call this uh, D six because that's what the the name is. Um, I'm then going to plug in actually the second coordinate uh, D seven twelve zero five nine zero one point one eight. And then 3108805.46. Keep it the same. This is D7. So what I should see here are just two points I've just created oh, here in the very uh, top right. That's this is a state plan will be northings and eastings to the up and to the right. Then what I'm going to do is actually insert that same PDF. So here I'll select it. You saw um, I already set that custom um, scaling as I read it there is one inch equals 60 foot um, and then import it. So what will happen is you'll see um, kind of bit zoomed out very far. This is actually where my PDF is. It'll be at zero zero and my points are over here. To bring those over it's pretty simple. I'll just select it, grab those points and then bring them in. Um, as I zoom in here, you can start to see there's that PDF. It's going to grab um, the right there. I'll use um, my center of rotation lock to actually bring this in and then lock it into where those points are. And then what I can do is um, either manually move it or auto snap it. And so there they are across. Now, this was already set up with a, the correct azimuth, um, the drawing was, so I didn't need to rotate it. If I needed to do that, um, one thing I would suggest doing is actually just essentially taking um, this azimuth measurement. And then when I'm, you can see that's 90 since it's already good, but I could apply it here um, with this uh, rotation here by essentially putting in that uh, angle there to rotate it to fit. So now um, if in this case, it looks like that's just an overview of site plan, but if I, if this was, if I was putting in light poles or um, the parking lot and striping it or putting the concrete there, um, if I didn't have that, but I had another, let's say model, um, I could bring in that PDF to work off, work off of that, keep it in the same coordinate system and everything should go together pretty, pretty well. So um, what I also like to do is just show you what that looks like by bringing in um, kind of the state plane and seeing how it aligns there. So that is, um, Field link office, you can do this on the tablet as long as you have the site coordinate module, um, which should be in the advanced feature pack. Um, if not, just reach out to your nearest building point representative to get set up correctly. So here you can see the PDF and a model there. Um, we'll see what that elevation is and that difference there. So here, oh, I'll actually click on that one. Elevation there. Looks like I'm actually. We're, so this is actually our office up in Westminster, 
and um, to tell you the truth, it looks like they are more than a mile high going up north there. So what I can also then do, if I need to align it there correctly, I'll create it from model. And then on that same point, I'll come in here, make sure I grab that right one, which looks to be that red one. Um, intersections right here. We'll see what that elevation is, 5470. Um, I'm going to move that PDF uh, up. Let's move out of this real quickly. And then there it is. And so one thing I usually like to do if I'm moving something vertically is actually just use this blue arrow so that I can align it. Probably should auto snap that um, because what will happen is it can move it in that other direction as well too. So so there should be about where I'll actually like it again. Oh, D6 was the first one. D8 was the correct elevation. So there's D7. Um, bring that up here and make sure it sits so I'm at the right elevation. And it does. So, yeah, here's your field link tip bringing PDFs into state plane or really any coordinate system. Um, pretty easy, quick, and simple to do that. Thank you.